If you're anything like me, your ability to edit stills requires so much assistance that even the AI from Ex Machina would have difficulty teaching you. <laughs> but luckily, there is an AI editing software that was made for people like us. I hope there isn't us. I was at a Nikon event the other day and I forgot to turn off raw shooting in a poorly lit environment. Now, I know that there are easier ways to fix this, but I thought it would be the perfect way to show you what the software can do. Let's go over it. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is we want to add the images from the event. So we will go add photos, add folder, and we will go to the Nikon event, which is here. We're gonna select that and all of these will start importing. They will be a little bit blurred as we go through. As it focuses on the image, it will start to sharpen. It's just the software not taking up too much RAM on the PC, but that's a little side note. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select three images that we want to look at and then denoise and try and get them to an acceptable posting status. Okay, so we have three images here. I do think that I chose one that is terribly out of focus. Ah, oh, it's not too bad, we can work with that, but let's go back to the catalog. Now we can see the detail of all three photos here. So we can see all of them were shot with a Z6 II. You can see that that doesn't change as we go along. And they were all shot with the Nikon Nikkor Z14-30 F4 on the aperture. And they were all shot at different ISOs. I was playing around a lot with ISOs as well as shutter rates and aperture to see if I can create different scenes for editing for this very purpose. Now let's look at the first image. As we open it, we're gonna see that the image is completely noised. This is the raw. So the first thing that we wanna do is we can actually see that it's raw by, sorry, going in there and we see that it's raw. So let's click into that image. We have a raw image and now we need to get all of this snow off of the image or noise off of the image. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go in to edit. We're gonna go to noiselessness raw, noiseless, noiseless raw. We will click on there and it even says there, we recommend that you go for high. So let's do high. Yeah, so from afar, we can see that the noise has completely been taken away. I can't really see any. I'm sure we're gonna see some of the shadows there if we look hard enough, but we've got a really crisp, clean image of this once raw photo that had a lot of noise. Now there are other ways to do this, of course, but I wanted to show you just how quick and easy it was in order to do this. Let's move on to the next image. Again, we can see a lot of noise. This one's gonna be a real test. Now we go in to the edit and we go into noiseless and we go high. So it recovered this one a little bit. It did take away a lot of noise, but I can still see graining on this. So not really a usable image on this one. And then lastly, something where I tried to get a little bit of light from the side. So we can see that there is graining or noise on the left there, but let's see what happens when we denoise this image. We have a lot clearer image and we do have a variable depth of feel here. It is very narrow. So we got some crisp imagery to the front here with that blurring to the background. So may use this image, may not. It's not probably the greatest image I took that night, but again, wanted to get some variation in order to be able to show you what this can do, especially with a raw image. And that's it. Thank you so much, Nikon, for inviting me. And actually, I'll be showing you some of the things that we're going to be doing with the Z6 III on this software, as well as with the Z6 III itself. Really, really excited for that as it arrived a few weeks ago. And that's it. If you do have any questions, please shoot them through in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Cheers, guys. Goodbye.